Holy shit. So how are we bloody doing? Hope you're doing mighty bloody fine. I'm doing ultra fine. Uh, yeah, we are two spots down. We're gonna kind of start this video with a kind of memorial, the tree gap. They've gone and chopped it out. There's a little piece they cut out. It's a little bit random actually. You'd think like the tree was down, it was down for years. They would cut the whole thing up, take it away. But uh, this is sort of shit I'm talking about. They've cut it out purposely because we were jumping over it. They seen it as a spot, thought it was a little bit dangerous. And they've just chopped it out and just left it. But I'll report back, I can report back in about a year's time. It'll still be like this. They won't take it away. Uh, you remember the drop that me and Lewis made off the end? Right. See, it rolls quite nicely. What a tree! Fuck you! Oh, 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 oh my word! That's obviously now gone. Me and Lewis are actually waiting for this fucker to fall down because uh, it's on its last legs. It's unreal, you can see right through it. So if that were to come down, we could have just rid on the tree, went right along, I'd have put the slats back in, but uh, we never made it to that day. There is fucking rubbish everywhere again. Lewis's trail is full of rubbish. Uh, someone did say they shut it off, but I think they shut it off purposely because they come and did this. So yeah, a couple sort of uh, memory clips of the little tree drop and jumping over the tree. Uh, you've got to do this shit, see? I've got to think to myself, every time I jumped that tree, it gave me a relief, a satisfaction. It's kind of like, yes, I achieved something today, even though I kept doing it all the time. I think the, uh, the banger of this tree gap was definitely doing it on the BMX. I was hoping someone was going to trick it, but they didn't. So some of you have seen a poll I did on Instagram recently talking about doing a mountain bike jam in these woods and uh, the percentage was very high. On the positive side, you said, basket, do it. And there were a couple local mountain bikers I've seen on there that said no. Uh, because you said no, don't really turn up. If I hold the jam and you do turn up, I'll make sure everyone knows. I'll be like, he said no. He said no, little shit. Can't be doing that negativity in my life. Gotta say, yeah. But, uh, when I say jam, because there's never been a mountain bike event in these woods, I'm just talking a mad session. I'm probably talking about the Christmas period, where it's kind of more into winter, where everything's sort of boggy and sketchy. A lot of trails come back to life because the weeds sort of die off and stuff. And from now till Christmas, holidays, we'll be able to sort of bring back some of the uh, crazier setups. And it's pretty much like going on a BMX street ride big gang of mountain bikers, kind of session certain spots and just move around the woods. It'll just be one big social gathering. See how that goes. And then uh, it might get bigger each year. But uh, just got to show everyone that Kingscliff is thriving with mountain biking and shit like that is not going to sort of uh, put us down. No negativity, positivity, and we'll keep on moving. So yeah, I put the gap back in. What do I think of that? Put the log actually further away as well, look. So now you can jump a kind of chop log. I haven't even been on a mountain bike for a while, so uh, first jump of the day, straight over the tree. Thought they could nip my spot. Basket puts it back in. YOLO and all that. Get rid of a few little uh, sketchy little twigs. There we go, look, positivity. That's all this world needs more of. Me, I'm negative as shit, but uh, I'm just saying, you should be positive. Ah, I think we've got to move it a little bit. Um, oh shit, not that far. Holy crap. 
Oh, got a little, uh, got a little wedgie piece. A bit of cheese. Jam that one underneath there. So yeah, I'm actually going to leave this gap as it is. So uh, that's a log that stays there. You go off that jump over the log. It's about another sort of three foot back than what it used to be. And you can literally try that. Got another angle down there. My big camera came back to life the other day. So I thought, take advantage of it whilst it's working. Um, yeah, nice little gap. After work session on my own, just jumping over logs and stuff. You know, most people are at the gym now. Probably in the pub, having a couple of beers and stuff. Basket. Sitting in the woods, jumping over logs. Nearly 33 years old and just never grow up. Peter Pan. They call me Sam. Oh yeah, that'd be the jump there. Quite be a sender. So yeah, I think I'm gonna sort of push my luck a little bit. At the moment, it's a decent sized gap. Feels kind of nice, that jump does need building up, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna roll this log with a little uh, piece of cheese underneath. My third and final roller. Come on. Right against that stump. There. I'm gonna stop it. Holy crap. So, uh, that was my ankle. So yeah, I'm actually gonna leave that as it is. So that is how big the gap is now. It's uh, pretty bloody big. So yeah, the log is against the little stump bit here. My jump is like back there. So I'm planning on jumping from there, over this log and down there somewhere. Oh my god. So uh, I pretty much skidded a line, even got a little log drop there as well. Had to move this tree to one side, sorry about that. But uh, this brings me on this bottom path here and back round to the bottom trail. So uh, clear a few little branches that are going to get in my face. Fuck life and all that. Fuck the rosers. Right. And then uh, see if I can make it over the log, down this part, and in. Chilled out ride after work, he says. Go for a chilled out ride. Uh, yeah, mega chilled, holy crap. Because my mother dropped me on my head when I was younger and uh, I thank her for it. Well I'm mum. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, that is unreal. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. What a line that is. Oh, whip. The speed on that is unreal. I thought it was a, I thought it was a goner. To be honest, or well, maybe there's a berm in there, bring you round, or can I use this as a jump? It actually steps down quite nicely. But uh, yeah, this descent here is crazy. Once you get over that tree, the speed is just like whoa, mulch heaven. So yeah, randomly, I've uh, brought this gap back to life. And it's actually double the length now, so uh, give it a try. Try not to die. And uh, if anyone gets time, start making a trail down here, I suppose. Because this thing's wild. 
Holy crap. Whoop. Ah, so someone has taken advantage of the uh, golden soil. But once again, look what you do. You start building a new place and you just leave your rubbish. It's fucking ridiculous. Ah, marshmallows a lot. Huh. Nice little roller and stuff. More rubbish. Uh, kids, you never learn. Never learn. So yeah, little after work session. I only went over there to see uh, what the forestry had done to that tree and that setup because someone had told me about it. And uh, ended up getting a full session in. And uh, thank you forestry for cutting that tree down and making my gap bigger. Always wanted to do that. It'd have been a lot harder work moving the actual jump back. So uh, yeah, thanks for that. And uh, yeah, I need to come back, create the line after and uh, get myself buzzing for BMX. You need to help me. You gotta say, Basket, come on, you can do this. Once I get a couple clips in, a couple mad ones, before winter hits, I'll be uh, more sort of chilled then. I can uh, settle down for winter, film everyone else, get back to my sort of digging missions and all that. And maybe creeping a few bangers over winter as well. But uh, once I get kind of two or three BMX clips in the bag, stored away, I'll be happy. And uh, yeah, that's about that. It's a random video that came out of nowhere. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye for now. There he is, Farmer Giles. Look, cruising on past. Probably gonna go smash my jump up. I'm tempted to actually make that tree gap into an actual legit double. It's not gonna last very long. I only put like a little bit of dirt there, so it's actually like a double gap. Need to measure it as well. It's probably about, I don't know, 15, 18 foot. I'll measure it soon. And uh, if you're brave enough to jump it, jump it. If you're not, just don't do it. <laughs>